Hi all, welcome back. In this video, we will be discussing about the access rights in purchase of Odo 60. For that, I am going to the settings module. And here you can see the users and companies. So let's choose users inside that menu. So currently we have two users which is Mark Demo and Michelle Edmin. So I'll just open Michelle Edmin. Uh, he's the administrator. And if you just scroll down here under the inventory section, you can see for purchase he has administrator access. Okay, I'm not changing it. I'm keeping it as such. Going back to Mark Demo. And inside the Mark Demo's uh, I mean the user mark demo here you can see the purchase I'm giving it as user that is the access I'm giving it as user so he only have a user access on the purchase module so from the action menu you can change the password so that you can log in as him easily so uh, in this video we'll be logging in as mark demo as well so before that let's go back open the purchase module and here you can see all these menus such as orders products reporting configuration and all now I'm going to configuration settings and I'll show one more thing which is the purchase order approval. So it's enabled actually and you have a minimum amount. So if you set a minimum amount, uh, once the purchase that is the RFQ exceeds the minimum amount, only after the manager approving it, you can proceed the uh, purchase order. Okay, so I've set the minimum amount as 500. So here Michelle Edmund is the manager and uh, Mark Demo is just a user. So Let's go back, log out as Michelle Admin and log in as Mark Demo. So I'm logging in as Mark Demo, providing the password as well. Okay. So as you can see, uh, Mark Demo cannot see the settings module here. Okay, so I'm opening the purchase and he only have two menus which are orders and products. So he have the option to create products. So this is the create. And also, uh, this is the product creation form which you can find in every other module. You have the product variance creation also. So he can create the product variance. Then you have orders here where he can create RFQ, purchase order, blanket order and even access the vendors. So I'm creating an RFQ. And one more thing, he doesn't have reporting settings and all. Okay, he only have the access to create certain things like orders and products. So I'm uh, providing a vendor which is Deco, and you have the order deadline and all and let's add a product. So I'm adding customizable desk and the quantity I'm setting it to 5. Okay. So after that I'm going to confirm the order. So you have to make sure that the unit price exceeds the limit. So I'm giving it as 550. So the limit was 500. Confirming the order. So as you can see this is about the uh, you know, limit. This is currently in the state to approve. So once you confirm it, it has gone to the state to approve. Now, the only thing which uh, Mark Demo can do inside the RFQ is to cancel it. So he can't confirm it to a purchase order. As you can see, there is no confirm order button here. So if you just go back, log out as Mark Demo. So I'm logging out and logging in as Michelle Edmund. So I'm providing my password and email a lot. So this is the purchase module. Here you can see orders, products, reporting and all. And here you can see the latest RFQ created. And the status of the RFQ is to approve. So you can open it and approve the order. So once the manager approves it, it changes the state to purchase order. And you can complete the process. So these are the simple changes which you can find in the administrator as well as the user access of the purchase module. So I'm completing this process. So that's all we have about the access rights. Hope it's clear. Thank you so much for watching.